Hello, I'm Brad Smith, the Vice Chair and President of Microsoft, and I'm delighted to share just a few thoughts about a book or monograph that we're publishing called Global Governance, Goals and Lessons for AI. Obviously, the issues around artificial intelligence continue to get more important. They get more important because, in part, I think the opportunities that people now recognize in AI are growing. It is a possible tool to solve almost every problem that we're trying to address in the world today. And at the same time, we're all becoming, really around the world, more focused on the guardrails that are needed, the risks that we need to address and manage well to ensure that AI stays under human control and serves people around the world. At Microsoft, we were quick to recognize we don't have all the answers to the questions that matter but we're really interested in the questions. And one of the things that we've done as we've thought about AI is employ a technique we've used many times before. We've asked, what can we learn from the past? What can we learn, for example, from the global governance work that's been done in other fields? What might we find that's relevant, that might be applicable to this new issue? And so what we decided to do was find some experts invite them to come join us, ask them to share their thoughts in writing, sit down and talk together. And we found that it was the type of conversation that made us better informed, so much so that we thought it would be useful to bring them together in what we're publishing today. And so what you'll find in this new publication is, I think, some interesting lessons. Lessons from, say, atomic energy civil aviation, climate science, financial services, all fields that involve governments and countries from literally around the world. We asked people to share how governance practices had been forged in each of these fields, what worked well, what didn't work well, and to start to really scratch beneath the surface to find some common lessons that we could all consider applying more broadly. You're gonna find that in this monograph and you'll see it as well in the views of Julia Morse, a political scientist who really has done, I think, a wonderful job of thinking more broadly about how these fields fit together. A few themes have really emerged. One is it's really important to understand the goals for governance. What are we trying to do? Are we trying to put in place safety standards? Are we trying to ensure that technology can move from country to country? Are we trying to ensure that the benefits of accessibility are broadly available to everyone? Are we trying, as is often the case, to do all of these things at the same time? But understanding the goals really matters because different practices have been developed for different parts of the economy with one or another of these goals. So it helps us to put them in that context. A second thing that we've learned is that there is such a critical opportunity in some of these fields especially, as there is in AI, for interaction among multiple stakeholders, not just governments, even though government interaction is typically the most important, but also, say, with the companies that are creating technology or are using it, with the civil society, the nonprofit, the non-governmental organizations that have such deep expertise. And certain governance models have been created over time that have tapped into these different stakeholders in some really interesting ways. Another thing that is really interesting when one studies the evolution of governance over time is that you see its evolution. Even if you have a great model at one particular moment in time, things still evolve. Technology changes, the economy changes, the state of international relations changes. And so things need to be agile so that they can evolve. And you also see the need for interoperability because ultimately technology cannot move around the world unless regulations can be applied in an interoperable way across borders. And as you see what's in this monograph, you can dig a little deeper and you see some of the texture, some of the nuances that really speak to us, I think, as we look to the future of AI. Ultimately, 
I think we're going to see a combination of efforts. We're going to see new bilateral approaches between nations. We're going to see new global governance. We'll see groups of countries. We'll see standards organizations all take important strides. But what really matters is not just these individual steps, but how we put them all together. If you read what we're publishing today, you, like us, I don't think we'll have all the answers, but I think you'll find, I hope you'll find, it's a good tool to be better informed so that we can take this conversation forward and talk together about even more questions that will get us ultimately where we all want to go. A future where we can harness the benefits of AI while keeping it safe and secure and trustworthy. Thank you.